Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to create an epic Discord server. Now, to create a Discord server, of course, you need to open your Discord, and this is, should be the landing page you should be seeing on your end. Next thing, look for this plus icon. It should be on the very bottom section if you have a lot of servers joined with. So, click on that plus icon and then create my own. You'll see a lot of choices here, by the way. I'm gonna go with friends. Because I can change it later on if I want for club and community. So for now, I'm going to go with friends and just name my server. Let's just name him epic1. Click on create. So basically, I've just changed my server. Now, if you notice, I forgot one thing in the creating server. I have the name, I have the server, but I don't have a photo. So to add a photo, drop down that arrow right there. Click on server settings. And then upload an image right here. And for this one, I'm going to use this specific dog that I got from a journey by the way and click on save changes by the way guys just a disclaimer when using discord make sure you save changes as much as you can each change you do here each toggle off or toggle on you do make sure you save changes that being said let me just remove this one I want to explain this to here so upon creation of your discord you'll see two channels you have text channels and voice channels each of them has general. Now, these are auto populated. You can change them later on, and I'm gonna teach you how to make them look cooler or epic rather. Now, that being said, I go back to server settings, drop it down right that server settings right here, click on roles, and then default permissions. Before we create a role right there, make sure you click on default permissions, and then clear permissions for everyone. Once that's good, again, save changes. Now, after saving changes, go back to that one, create our new role, and for this one, let's call them bots. The first role we're going to create is bots. Now, right now, since we have a bot right there, let's change colors. I'm going to go with a little pop out, some red, and if you want to add an image, of course, just image right here, but I'm going to say as it is first. So, bots are basically the most powerful authority on Discord for me here. I want them to be the most closer to admin. So. I'm going to choose display roles members separately from online members. Basically, that's going to be it. Save changes for now, and then proceed on permissions. Now, for bot, I'm going to click almost everything here. Now, let me just give me a second here while I click everything. So, welcome back. And the only thing that I give not give permission to regarding bots is going to be this one. The last advanced permissions of administrator. I want this to remain on my end only and myself only. Other than that, everything is toggled. Save changes one more time. And basically, we just have one more role here. Let's add some more here just, just for fun. So click on back. Click on create one more role. And for this one, let's name them. Um, Let's call them, what do you call this one? Sorry about that. I think it's going to be mods for yellow. I'm going to go for yellow there. Save changes. Display role members separately make sure you click on that one save changes and click on permissions now for this one same as bots basically everything will be clicked here let me just fast forward real quickly here now welcome back same as the bots the bots will not have administrator privileges so click on save already there and let's add some more i want to add some vip here so create some roles and by the way guys the role name i'm putting here will be my own preference if you want to put for example pikachu there if you have with some dragon please do so that will be depending on your own preference so i'm going to go with vip go for blue click on this one make sure you click on that one save changes and then go back to permissions now for this one we're not going to click everything we're just going to choose some roles here to give um some people the permissions for example they can view channel but they cannot manage channel you cannot manage roles i'm gonna click on create expressions manage expressions i'm not gonna give webhook manage server not gonna give them create invite by the way guys under membership permissions basically everything is good everything is safe so send message of course please do so embed links of course and then for this one the idea here is just VIP are the most common people, even though they're called VIP in Discord, they're the most commoner. Much like a beginner or a member, something like that. Now, let me just finish almost here. I'm gonna give them soundboard, external sounds. 
voice activity, priority, and so on and so forth. Second, okay? I'm gonna allow that one, of course. I'm gonna allow administrator. Click on save changes. And now we have three roles right here. If you want to create some more, for example, if you want to add one more role or two, please do so. But for now, I'm gonna stay with three and go back to my server. Now, next up on the list is creating the channels. For example, you want to add some channel here rather than just having text and voice, right? I can just simply right click right here, create channel. Now you have text and voice. I'm gonna go with voice here. And the thing I want to take note of is if you choose voice and you click on uppercase, for example, you can click on supplecase or uppercase right there. However, if you click on text, how much you can do, even though you try your hardest to make it an uppercase, it will not go into an uppercase. Just a little thing to remind you about. So I'm gonna click on sample voice right there, click on create channel. And I have just created my channel right here. Now to add some category, right click, and then you can create voice channel right there, edit channel and so on and so forth. You can even duplicate it. Now for this one text channel, I'm gonna right click, edit category. And for this one, let's add some finesse, some fun to the image. So the shortcut key for this one is gonna be Windows, Clay, and period to enable that emoji. Now I'm gonna click on circle right there. I'm gonna go for info. And basically for this one, I'm gonna go for save changes. Go back right there. I have info right here. We can add some more categories under voice channel if you want. Edit category. Now for this one, same process. Now for example, I'm gonna go with yellow right here. Same process, I just enable the emoji keyboard, save changes, and go back to the server. Right now I have info, I have general. If I want to add some more, for example, I can just right click here, edit some more categories. I will change the name, please do so. I can just right click here, edit channel. You can edit the name also right here. For example, you want to edit the name under general. I can just enable the emoji key one more time. So that will be Windows key plus and period. Perfect. And for example, I want to use a heart. Basically name it right here. I think I'm gonna go with heart or rather couple. Couples right here, give me a second. It's typing on the emoji keyboard. So save changes. Go back right here. Now we have couples right here. We have just changed the name and the logo to make it more look properly. Next up is gonna be the next process. Now, for example, I have just edited and added some stuff here. And then for example, developers announcement rules, information, general bots and mods right there. They can join here, but each of them have different rules. For example, for announcement, you can only edit the channel. For example, let's try editing a channel right here for permissions. They can only view the channel, especially with that one, especially for the roles of members. For the bots or rather let's call for VIP, they can only view channel, but they cannot manage channel, they can manage permissions and so on and so forth. That is how you customize the permission on each channel. So save changes right there. Escape over here. You can edit some more. For example, let's try developers right there. Edit channel. Again, device, the rule here is just gritinary. The idea is basically making sure the custom rules are allowable for each channel. Again, for the VIP, you can specifically, for example, you, you can only view the channel. You, if you want to give them access to managing the channel itself, please do so. Creating invites, sending message, and so on and so forth, and saving changes. Now, basically that's it. Now, for example, let's say the bots on the logs, you can only see the channel, but they cannot join it. And then let's make sure you click on it and then edit category, go for permissions, and then make sure you go on VIP here, or rather the mods. Again, I'm going to go with VIP and then simply they can view the channel, but they cannot send messages. They cannot join in. Let me just look for that connect or rather this one. Save changes. And for now, this specific channel right here can only be seen by VIP and I rather, sorry about that, by bots and up. VIP are not able to join in here because we restricted them. That's how you private a channel right here. Now, some more little tip for you to private some channels so right click on it edit channel right there permissions and you'll see this option right here private channel now everyone in this um everyone that joins in this channel will be private 
but only few members can see it. For example, you want to add members or people who can see that exact channel. I'm gonna go for mods, click on done. So mods and VIP can now see the logs channel or the bots channel right there. So click on save changes and now basically remove it. And now this channel right here is only viewable by mods and bots. Now this may seem a lot, so you can just minimize them. For example, you don't need to expand everything. And basically now they're organized and more neat. And to check if your roles are working, simply drag it down, click on server settings, go to roles, and this is right there. View server as a role. As you can see, you are viewing in the selected role as bots. Basically, that's it. That means your role is working properly. Now, one more thing to change about the server roles is that going back right there, clicking escape, and the, the announcement and roles, for example, you don't want the bots to typing anything here in the announcement. So right click, edit channel right there, permissions. And then for this one, you can simply remove the VIP or the bots. For example, click on mods right there, remove them inside this specific channel. Basically, that's it. The idea here is that be as custom as you can. Escape right there. Now, if you're satisfied with this one, if you wanna share it with others, make it into a server template. To do that, simply drag it down right there server settings and then server template let's title this epic one and then sample description let's just say sample of an epic server generate template and easy as that you can just copy this one and give it to your friends and families once they access the link they can use your template the one you created earlier and basically that's it this is how you create an epic server on discord so please hit the like button, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.